Good morning. So this is the sunrise. And the moonset. Bye. There's the wood chips. Oh yeah, our first pile of what arborist mulch? Arborist wood chips. Yeah. Arborist wood chips. Okay. Uh, we used the company Chip Drop. Awesome. Took about four business days. So, cool. Yeah. Look at that. Very excited. All kinds of good organic <laughs> matter. Oh yeah, and uh, we have I think seven or eight of these trucks coming. Nice. Yeah. So we'll have plenty to layer on thick. This uh, area. area. And that will give us time to let the soil amend and also this will be a good walkway uh, as I build the raised beds. So, Yay! That's yeah. and you can see here that you can see the green, the green and the browns, right? Is that yeah, what Yeah, so the green and the browns, the nitrogen and carbon, um, but the fact that this isn't dyed, there's a lot more bio matter and uh, bio diversity. Uh, Different you know. sizes of wood chips. <laughs> it's not going to compact and strangle the plant. So regular mulch is very uniform and if any of you guys have ever had mulch in your gardens or in your front lawns, you'll notice that sometimes it'll mat as it compresses. Uh, that also, like Libby said, can strangle the, the plants, the root system. Um, this right here allows for aeration and plant growth, but it also is a weed and heavy well. Yeah, and it retains moisture, so I'm excited. Good yeah, job, babe, yeah. nice. Those are huge. And I also chatted with them about some size length. Frost, no frost. This is a bulb for basketball goal. Yeah? Oh, first, wow. First old one, the new one, I'm gonna put gloves on because I don't want to put oil on this bulb. Gotcha. You were able to get it down, that's nice. Yeah, it's actually pretty simple. Um, you just, so it's got a bolt in it, but once you undo the bolt, it's held on by that cord. Yeah. And then once you lower it, the rim, the light actually lowers it. Oh, nice. 
so all I have to do is crank up the rim and the light will go back up. Sweet. I like your gloves, babe. What is that, babe? Pumpkin ginger scone. <laughs> and where are Freshly we? Made. Garfield Park Farmer's Market. And it's a beautiful autumn day. Enjoying it with some coffee and cream. Happy place. It is October 20th, Sunday, after a bonfire and having family here, which I am super grateful for. My brother has flown back to Florida, and now I'm going to plant my tulips because it is gorgeous outside. And so let me show you what we got going on. 40-something daffodils and some tulips I showed in the last vlog. I have this cool little Ryobi that's going to help me break up the dirt without having to injure my neck and my arm at the moment. Let's just take a look at how beautiful this day is. Super grateful. About 73 degrees, low humidity, and full color on this baby. Bed number one, bed number two's over there. We're gonna put 20 daffodils and about 20 tulips. And the same over there, and they'll just be happy, bright little spots. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hello, what you doing? So much fun. I am digging a trench about three to six inches deep to put a row of daffodils and they will bloom April and then behind that we're going to put some tulips. So All right, what do you got in your hand there? My baby made sure that I had this easiness. It's a Ryobi tiller basically, I think. Yep, it's a hand tiller. The hand tiller's got three speeds. 
And so when I start it, it'll do this so it's a lot easier on my neck and my arms. Wonderful. And Go ahead and give us a twirl. Oh, man. So I'm probably about four inches deep. I need to get about five. All right. Well, that looks like it's moving it good, too. And that's the that's the mulch, so that's even easier, right? Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's down into the dirt, and it's done a really good job. Nice. All right. So he's breaking it up. This would be so painful if I did it with a, 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 a shovel. Awesome. A shovel. Thanks, babe. There's more room on this bed for daffodils with tulips behind it than over here, which I put just a row of daffies. And you can see, I still have several daffodil bulbs, which are quite a bit bigger daffodils than tulips, even though tulips will get, these are daffies, they'll get about 14 to 20 inches tall. These are 22 to 26, but this is, an, this is a tulip bulb, daffodil bulb. So here I don't have as much room. I think we're gonna just plant a little bit of, a few tulips behind this guy. And we're gonna to go to the back of the mound and plant some more tulips. All right, so a little bit of change of plans. I have way more bulbs than my space could take. And I don't wanna put bulbs here now because we're gonna to have to pull this out and it'll get all messy. So we're gonna leave the bulbs in the front. We'll do something else here later. But here, what I'm gonna do is put 18 tulips on either side of the porch in the front. So those will be the first to come up. And then behind that, we'll figure out what to do afterwards. But the trenches are dug and then we'll plop the little babies in there. Okay, I've now decided to put the remaining bulbs here around the back porch, back one of the back doors. So everything will have a little bit of yellow and orange splashed in against the blue. That's our blue heron. I still can't get him in the actual pond. We now have, I think this is three loads, three truckloads of wood chips, arbor chips. So these were no cost. We'll link the website in the description below the video. But yeah, we're excited. So Aaron's already used some of it over by the trees and uh, this is the area we've decided to put the garden, so we're excited and it is a lovely, lovely autumn day here in Indiana. Picking up one of two pieces of artwork for the house. So good. <gasps> what did we just do? Picked up one of two pictures by the artist Mark Maggiore. So you'll get a reveal soon. We All right, have... ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Monday, October 21st. Just got back with one of two. Um, unfortunately, there was a couple of little things that we wanted to get tweaked on one of them, so we're leaving it as the framers, but we will pick that up in a couple of days. But without further ado. Dun, 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 dun. I've had uh, these two prints for over a year, maybe close to a year and a half. Um, 
Finally got him. Finally got him framed. Yes. Yeah. Mark Maggiore, print number one that we purchased for Aaron as a gift. There it is, hand signed. It's gonna be so beautiful against the walls. So real quick, I am going to uh, go ahead and pick it up and we're gonna go and put it against. That one, you want this one? Yeah, let's do this one here, just to, just to for see. For the effect. Yeah. Oh yes, it's gonna look so good. Hello, Tuesday, October 22nd. Yeah, 22nd. Sometimes, after a long day of work, you just need silence, nature sounds, and a lot of space. It is Thursday football at Butler University. Could not ask for a more perfect autumn day, and you have to take those moments. <laughs> 